Hello friends, today we are going to go on an interesting journey down the memory lane. We are going to see the rise and ultimately the fall of Lehman Brothers. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Lehman Brothers was founded by three brothers in the year 1850 in the US state of Alabama. They operated a dry goods store which at that point of time was a flourishing business. During the 1850s, cotton was one of the most important crops in the United States. Seeing the importance and high market value of cotton, the Lehman Brothers began to accept raw cotton from their customers as a form of payment for their merchandise. And just within a few years, this became a major part of their business. During the late 1850s, the cotton trading hub had shifted to the New York City where the factors and the commission houses were based. Lehman also started its new branch in New York. They were still largely involved in their cotton business. Lehman Brothers played an important role in formation of the New York Cotton Exchange in 1870. The headquarters of Lehman Brothers was also shifted to New York. Lehman also became the member of Coffee Exchange in the year 1883 and finally the New York Stock Exchange in 1887. In the year 1899, Lehman Brothers underwrote its first public offering of the International Steel Pump Company. In the year 1906, Lehman Brothers partnered with Goldman Sachs to bring many more public offerings to the market. This was the time when Lehman Brothers started entering into the financial markets. Over the next two decades, they did more than 100 public offerings and many of them were in partnership with Goldman Sachs. During the period of Great Depression, that is during the period of late 1920s to early 1930s, when the equity markets were not doing well, Lehman Brothers focused on venture capital which helped the company survive through Great Depression phase. The underwriting business and issue of public offers continued afterwards. During the next four decades, the company underwrote many public offerings and became one of the largest and well-known brand in the financial sector. In the year 1984, the Lehman Brothers was acquired by American Express for a brief period of about a decade. American Express spun off Lehman Brothers in the year 1994 in an initial public offering and the company's name was changed to Lehman Brothers Holdings INC. After three years, in the year 1997, Lehman bought Aurora Loan Services, which was an Alt-A lender. This was the first step towards the downfall of Lehman Brothers. In the year 2000, Lehman acquired subprime mortgage lender BNC Mortgage LLC. After that, Lehman quickly started lending to many subprime borrowers. Now, what exactly is a subprime? Subprime are those category of borrowers who do not have a great record when it comes to repaying their loans or repaying their credit card bills. Now one may ask why the company was lending to these subprime borrowers. The reason was that major part of the loan were given for purchase of new houses and it was believed at that time that the price of house would never fall. The loans were given at a teaser rate to the subprime borrowers. The loan to purchase a house was very easily available in the market and everyone started to purchase the house on loan and their main target was to sell off their home at a higher price in future. But during the early 2000s, the prices of home and real estate started to crash. The home buyers saw that the price of their real estate is declining day by day. And ultimately, there was a situation when the price of the real estate was very less compared to the amount of loan that they were supposed to repay to the banks. So they started defaulting their payments as they could not pay the high interest rates. The banks would then sell their houses to recover a part of the loan. But banks were never able to recover the 100% of the loan. In the year 2003, Lehman Brothers gave loan of $18.2 billion to the subprime market. By 2004, this number jumped to $40 billion. And by the year 2006, they were lending almost $50 billion per month. By the year 2008, Lehman's risky real estate holdings were more than 30 times of the firm capital. Such a highly leveraged structure is dangerous for any financial institution. When the number of loan defaulters saw a rapid increase, Lehman Brothers had no option but to file for bankruptcy. The 158-year-old company came to an end in the September of 2008.